Hello friends, Heidi here from Rain Country. God is good all the time. And I'm finally here to at least add one more video to the playlist I started years ago on growing your own supplements. And so far I only had one, and that one was on magnesium. And today's focus is gonna be on calcium. So what this is, and it doesn't have to be that you actually grow it, but I wanted to give people an idea of things that they can grow depending on their area that are high in various nutrients that they need. And but even if you have to stock up from the store from on any of these things to help add more of these nutrients to your diet, that is fine too. So the main focus is going to be on plant-based items. But obviously, when we're talking about calcium, there's a lot of great animal products too, such as dairy and so on. And I'll cover that last. So let's get to the plant-based items first. So starting off with seeds. Pretty much all of your edible seeds, whatever they are, are gonna be high in quite a few minerals. The most common ones are calcium, magnesium, and manganese. And so I'm gonna list off at least some of the seeds that you can use in cooking. I add a lot of this stuff to my breads, add to smoothies, or however you wanna eat them, where you can add more calcium to your diet. So. These would be poppy seeds, sesame seeds, celery, chia, and nuts as well. That's going to fall into this too. Almonds, flax, Brazil, coconut, hazelnuts, hemp seed, pistachios, walnuts, squash seeds, including pumpkin seeds, cashews, and sunflowers. And that's just some of the many seeds. So a lot of the more common ones people like to eat anyway or add to different things. So now let's get on to some more some vegetables. So we're looking at your dark leafy greens are again just like with your nuts and seeds are going to be high in a lot of minerals including calcium and some very specific ones would be kale, broccoli, collards, arugula, bok choy and turnip greens. I would assume that beet greens would be the same. Pretty much any of those types of greens are going to be high in these types of minerals. You know, even though I said vegetables, I don't have this all written down in that same order, but another one that's really high in calcium is a fruit, and that would be figs. So a lot of people can grow figs. We're still working on it, still haven't had any figs yet on ours, but if you like figs, there's a good option right there. Uh, beans and lentils, and that also includes green beans. So if you're growing, like I grow the, uh, the Scarlet Runner being my favorite beans to grow, picked young, I use them as a green bean, I let them mature, and then use them as a dry bean. All of those are gonna be high in calcium, but all of your lentils as well. Some others would be sweet potatoes, amaranth, rhubarb. That one actually surprised me. I don't know why, but that one did surprise me. So rhubarb we know is high in vitamin C because you know it's so tart, but also high in calcium. Carrots, oranges, and then the squash itself, I talked about the seeds, but butternut, acorn, pumpkin, pretty much any of your squash like that is going to be high in calcium. Okra, artichoke, and parsnips. And I'm sure the list goes on and on, but mostly I wanted to give you a place to start. So here are just a few ideas. Everybody I think can find, if you're into gardening and trying to grow this stuff for yourself, I think pretty much anyone can find at least one thing in this list that they can grow well. Now, when we're talking about uh, minerals, nutrients in general, any of your greens, be they wild types of greens or the greens that I mentioned back here, uh, dandelion greens, chicory greens, many of these things are gonna be high in all kinds of great minerals and vitamins. And so what I like to do when I remember to take it is I do make a, what I call a multivitamin mineral extract. And I do that using whatever greens I can gather from my garden. That also includes sting and nettle as well. And I make what's called, what I call a mixed greens blend. Sometimes it has kale in it, sometimes collards, sometimes uh, carrot tops, whatever greens I grow. And now I add my daylily flowers in there as well. And then I make an extract from that. So I'll link to the video I did on extracts where I show actually making that particular extract, the last one. And this can be one way that you can 
really condense it. And especially if you're not one that likes to eat some of these things, especially the greens, then this would be one way you can do it. Now I add the mixed greens to all kinds of different dishes, even things you think they wouldn't mix well in, but then also making the extract itself to take as a supplement. And that's some ways that you can get more of these minerals into your diet. And then, of course, as I said, I was going to bring up some of your other options. So obviously, any of your dairy products. So if you like dairy like we like dairy, it's a great place to get calcium. Be it whole milk, yogurt, cheese, cream, and then a lot of your fatty fish, like your salmon, your steelhead, sardines, and so on, are high in a lot of these types of minerals like calcium. And also, this isn't a mineral, but vitamin D3 is also a good one to get from your fatty fish. So anyway, I hope that gives you some ideas and I'll be linking down below, not only to the playlist, but to the video I did on the mixed greens blend and how I use it, as well as the one on the extracts and whatever I think that I believe would go well in this particular topic, I'll link to down below. And again, just kind of consider some of the things that, especially if supplements you know, maybe they're too expensive to purchase or they're hard for you to get a hold of. Ways that you can find to get it in nature as much as possible is not only going to be better for you anyway, but it's going to be a lot less expensive. And by the way, here's another way to help. If, if you're worried about the depletion of minerals in your soil, which, you know, is a concern, one thing you can do is if you have a wood stove or a fireplace that you commonly use, consider taking the ashes. So wood ash added to your garden is a good way to get more minerals into the garden itself, into your soil, but you want it well mixed. Otherwise, if you throw it in a big clump, it can turn to cement when it gets wet. So make sure it gets well tilled into the soil or sprinkled lightly on top of the soil and allowed to work down into the soil that way. Though I will throw buckets, just toss them right on down on top of my perennials, such as around fruit trees, sage, rosemary, and so on. When you're talking about a place where you're growing annuals, you're gonna wanna work those that wood ash into your garden. And I've heard it said that it's best to work that in just before you plant. So you might even wanna have an area that you stock up on your wood ash at where it can stay dry. So when you're getting ready to actually plant your garden, you can then sprinkle it around in there and work that into your soil. Or again, sprinkle just a light layer on top. So, cause otherwise, you know, winter rains and stuff can wash away those same minerals that you're trying to put back into your soil. So anyway, I hope you found this helpful and hopefully it won't be another three to four years before I do the next video in this series, which I haven't decided which one it's going to be, but I'll pick a nutrient and that will be the one I focus on next. So anyway, please put your thoughts, suggestions, ideas, other foods that you know that are high in calcium or ways that you get calcium. Oh, I almost forgot to mention eggshells. Eggshells is a great way to get both calcium and magnesium in one in one place where you can powder it up and take it as a supplement. I find it best to add it to some kind of liquid, be it juice, water, tea, and then just drink it down. And I have a video about eggshells, how to prepare them and how I use them that I'll put also, there's two of them, I'll put in the description box down below. All right, well, thanks for watching. Take care and God bless.